All right. This is uh, Belay Grills that I had ordered from Amazon. And uh, they shipped in two different boxes, which was interesting. Um, these came from Canada. And uh, I want to show you the condition of the boxes. And how they packed it. This one's been dropped several times this way, especially if you look at this. Real back crush there. That being bent like that concerns me a lot. This box. You see all the pieces here. Let me turn it to the other side. Look at this. And you know, I don't think people understand a lot. I've shipped a ton on the internet. See that? I've shipped a ton of stuff on the internet. Let me tell you something. First of all, the post office reps will tell you that if it goes through the hub in Atlanta, Georgia, it's a big building with a conveyor belt runs all the way up through the roof, all the way down. And it just goes bam, 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 all the packages. And if you ever watch them unload an airplane, they have what looks like a trash dumpster on the ground. And they open the cargo door and start throwing all the stuff into the dumpster. So you really have to pack. It's really important. I used to ship a lot of glass, crystal, and ceramics on the internet and some big heavy pieces. Learned my lesson by packing on the newspaper. Uh, I had so many returns that was beyond belief. Um, and PayPal just gives these people their money back. Um, I learned real quick to use proper packing, pack it tight, and use packing peanuts or styrofoam or whatever. But you've got to fill the air in the box. And when I show you this, you will never believe it. This was shipped from Canada, purchased on Amazon, and this was the most expensive belay grills I could buy on Amazon. Uh, they're usually made in, in stainless steel, and then also aluminum. I really wanted stainless steel. These are aluminum, um, but I couldn't find any stainless steel. And these are overlays on my Cadillac. It's a, it's a full stainless steel belay grill. It's worth a $1,000. But um, on this other car I ordered before, there's your part stuff. And this is all that was in this box. And I think a big piece of paper. Where did that big piece of paper go? That's in the other one. That's oh, where it came the other one. Yeah. Okay, so this is all that was in this box. So all this did was bounce around. That's all they put it in. It's aluminum. Just that. And this. It's supposed to take cream finish, right? And it's got the black paint on the inside here on the mounting areas. <clears throat> the only thing that I didn't like about this grill insert is the overlay that goes over the original grill. <coughs> is that it has a big right here. All this looks like it's been punched. So it's got a big indenture all in here. Okay? That really upset me. 
But that's obvious because I blew the box down. It's been hidden too many times here, or they didn't inspect it before they shipped it. You always got to inspect before you ship. But that's a blade grill. That's an upper piece. But that's all they put in it. There's nothing else in the box. And this whole piece has been dancing around in here. See how big that is? See how wide it is? And no padding, nothing. And this was the most expensive set on Amazon. I didn't order the cheaper ones because I was hoping this was top quality. Now, let me get to this other one. I'm so upset because wait till I tell you what they did. One piece of paper. And there's the lower. And this big giant box. Look how big that is. Look at that. Why? And especially buying two boxes. Yeah, you could have got them both in there if you packed it, right? And this was all clear check here. So that came in the box. This wadded paper came in the box. And this is the grill. This. That's the lower. Now it's on the back. Glossy black paint. Chromey finish. But now I want to show you the defect. Where they married two pieces of metal in together. There's one right there. I think that's a different one. I don't know if you can see that. Where they marry the metal in together. Can you see it? Yeah. They joined it together. So it's got a defect thing going on. I might see it if I can find it. Yeah. I mean, that's really noticeable. That is very noticeable. It almost looks like a bubble. And there's a couple little scratches here and there. I don't know why they didn't inspect them before they shipped them. Or did they drop ship? I don't know. Really disappointed. I'm gonna wait till I show you the rest of this story. But this was the most expensive set on Amazon. But that is so disappointing. Let's see what she has to Or something like that. There's actually glue and stuff on here. I don't know if that's from tape or what that's from. But these are supposed to be brand new. That defect is pitiful. Can you see the defect better? There, wait, hold on a minute.
right? You see it? Mm-hmm. Okay. So disappointing. Because both pieces are screwed up. Now, so I ordered it July 22nd. Okay. From Amazon. Delivery estimate July 29th by 8 p.m. Monday. For $110.88 for both, both top and bottom, sold by HD Rides, HD R I D E Z, out of, and it's there out of Canada. And I got free shipping, $110.88 free shipping. Okay, now. They claimed that they delivered on the 29th, but I think it was an Amazon delivery person or something. This came by UPS Ground, and always the last mile goes to the post office. Uh, usually, that's the way they do it. And um, uh, there was no way to get it. They said it was it arrived Saturday night, and there was no no Saturday day. They said it arrived Saturday day. And it did not, because I was up there at 8.30 in the morning, arguing with the post office, like, it's supposed to be here. And uh, so, somebody marked it as delivered, and it was not. And um, I didn't get it till Monday morning, and I still had to look around for it, of July 29th. Now, watch this. So, I send a complaint by email. To this company and I'm going to tell you where this came from I don't think drop shipped or what the game was but I sure didn't know it was coming from Canada and cost a lot of money to ship to Canada okay it says Tina Keller 888-319-7787 APS Auto Parts Specialist, 100 East Main Street, Ontario, California, Ontario, Canada, 91761-1602. Okay. So, is that not critical? Okay. So, let me find this. Here. Where I mailed them. Okay. Okay, let's see. Copy of your your email to to HD Rides. Begin message. I ordered the belay grills. The bottom one has a defect on one side. Two pieces put together conjoined with a seam. The top one has a fist size dent, light dent in it. Did you not inspect before you shipped? Okay. I sent that July 29th. On July 30th, they sent me a thing of my order. And it says, We are sorry to hear that your shipment arrived damaged. Before we process your request and send you the replacement, we finally ask you to send us the following things to verify the problem. Pictures of the damaged grill inserts and box. Part number shown on the outside of the boxes. Please see sample image attached. 
VIN number and submodel your vehicle. Now, why do I need my VIN number and submodel my vehicle? This is just stupid. That would be if it didn't fit or something. It says, look forward to hearing back from you to assist. Thanks and have a nice day. HD rides customer service Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. So, um, this is really terrible. I sent him another message that says, what does my van of my car have to do with your poor packing? You didn't even check the defects before you shipped. You were the most expensive seller on Amazon I bought from, and I was hoping to get a good product properly packed, too. This is very displeasing. Okay, I sent that Wednesday, July 31st. Okay. Okay, now it says, oh, I bet this is drop shipped. Thank you for checking back with us. We appreciate it. The packaging was done by the supplier in the factory, not by us. So they drop ship, which Amazon does not permit drop shipping. We are one of the distributors for APS products. We provide the products to customers the way the supplier provided them to us in our packaging. As such, we would not know if there was an issue with the products until a customer informs us. In addition, we also do not know if the item was damaged during transit by the carrier or before the transit. As such, asking for images of the boxes also provide us with a clue to know who to claim with the supplier or the carrier. Lastly, we ask for the VIN because it reshipment is required them to make sure the customers benefit that they ordered the correct model in the first place. That's not the problem. If the customer ordered the wrong in the first place, they are, response, they are responsible for return shipping. We hope that makes sense. We have our own procedures as sellers as we work with suppliers with their procedures to satisfy customers. So please provide full requested info so that we can quickly assist you with the solutions. We're looking forward to assist HD Rides customer service. Well, first of all, you don't drop ship on Amazon. They do not allow it. I know I've sold on Amazon for several years, and they are really strict. They do not play. It's not like eBay. Um, two, uh, I didn't order the wrong item, so I wouldn't be liable for that anyway. And if your product is screwed up, it's your own fault because you shipped like the unknown comic from somebody else or didn't open the packages before you shipped them to me. Um, however you did it, these were not inspected before they were shipped to me by the person that sold it to me at H-D-R-I-D-E-Z on Amazon, that seller. So, um, I'm going to call Amazon because they document everything you talk to between the buyer and the seller, and they read that, and I'm going to talk to Amazon and um, get them to fix it because... Uh, this is really wrong. This is a lot of money held up, and um, it's shameful that people would ship like this. Um, this is really poor packaging, for one. Very poor. Now, that defect in that grill did not happen from shipping. This defect in this grill could have, but it was, it was probably damaged before they shipped it. See how this side has a nice curve, and this side has been done it? Like somebody punched it or stepped on it or something. No. Well, um, I, uh, and that's how I noticed that big dent. Because I wanted to see if it actually fit the vehicle that I ordered it for and how it fit on there. And this actually sticks out a little bit. It doesn't recess. And it's not very thick either, but it really doesn't recess too much. But this one does this one fits real well the lower one it recesses nicely into the lower grill but anyway I just wanted to show you that and the poor pack and I mean really this is so sad but anyway I hope you have a great day and Amazon usually is not bad like eBay this is surprising but Amazon is usually pretty good about straightening things out um, 
because I had one thing at Key Fob thing that I ordered, uh, brand new for this particular vehicle from another company, and they sent me the exact wrong one because um, I had the factory ones, brand new, and um, it's no good. Uh, so that they wanted me to Xerox the thing and ship it back and all that kind of junk and pay to ship it or something, and it was like ten dollars or something. I paid for it on twenty or something. I didn't do it. But this is this is expensive. So I'll let you know the update on what happened. But if you're gonna ship on these websites, please do proper shipping. That's just stupid. There's no reason for that. It doesn't take a whole lot to figure that out. If you've ever re received a package in your life, you should know how to how to pack something. That's actually a delicate item. It should have been wrapped and wrapped and packed with peanuts and all kinds of stuff. And um, yeah, it's okay to use bigger boxes, but fill it with something. You know, you, you use all these insanely huge boxes. And you don't fill it with anything. I mean, you're blaming it on who it is that you bought it from. So you never inspected it before it was shipped. You drop shipped. And that's against policy with Amazon. So anyway, um, I hope you guys have a great day. Enjoy. And uh, I'll let you know the updates again. As I said before, it ought to get interesting. Talk to you later.